least some common functionality. Common functionality means what? Common code. So, if developers are defining the code for implementing common functionality for each project separately, then there are some problems. Suppose when new project is came in our company and developer again starting from writing the scratch code, sir. Scratch codes. If you prefer scratch code every time and the developer getting what kind of problem? So first point is what? It makes a burden on developer, point number one. Second one, it makes a delay to deliver a project to the client, second point. So if you are prepared the common code, what happened? Developer compulsory, okay. Okay, get a burden on developer. Next one is makes delay to the project to the client and project deployment cost is increased and takes more time means uh, so if, if your client ask you sir i need my project within the one month now you started writing the from scratch code but it will take two months what happens sir okay cost will be increased and development time also will be increased so means what unnecessary burden okay on our developer at the same time company. So in order to overcome above problem, framework came to the picture, guys. Simple thing, if you if, suppose you are not going to developing your application without framework, what happens, sir? Okay, developer get the button and uh, what's sir? And developer won't deliver the project in time and development cost will be increased, time will be increased. To avoid common functionality, while developing our web-based application, what happened? Developer won't get the button. Developer won't get the button, point number one. And it won't make what it can, it can, it can deliver the project within the time. Development cost also decrease, time also decrease. So these are the advantages of framework. Next point, next point here. Okay, framework advantage. Sir, framework provides the code for common functionality as a predefined as predefined it reduces burden on the developer next one developer can deliver project within the time means we are not writing the common code a project maintenance is very easy and next one is a rapid development very very important rapid means what less code less time okay without getting burden and a product going to implementing that's what we call sir rapid development. The next one is more secured code. Sir, by default, Java is nothing but a secured programming language. So no problem. And our framework application also secured code because we are talking about Java framework. So more secure. Next one, simpler testing and debugging. This point is very, very important. Guys, by default, framework web application provide testing capacity what and a debugging capacity means uh, means uh, by default they give in the jars like j unit okay to test your application no need to write a separate code guys for testing purpose already they implemented one jar the jar name is what j unit so after develop your web based application we can easily debug and we can easily test our code by using web framework uh, by using framework web application. Next, very, very important, avoiding duplicate code. Means we are not repeating here common code. Common code repeating is means what? So we are going to writing to only unique code, specific code only. So what, sir, we are able to focus on writing specific to the project, guys. Means uh, reason is what? Very, very important point this one. Okay, common code already, already they given with jars and var files, jars and var files. Just as a developer, we have to focus on only unique code. Just client will ask the one requirement. Based on that requirement, just you can implement the code. So no need to repeat the common functionality. Just you can focus on only unique code. So these are the advantages of our framework. So not only one framework, sir, nowadays, so in, in Java frameworks are, we have a three like Hibernate, Spring and Spring Boot. And in Python, we are using Django. In, in PHP, uh, one framework is there, there, that is what Laravel. Okay, these all frameworks avoid the common, common functionality 
and uh, take the unique functionality by the developer so this is what advantage so now we know why framework and uh, advantages of framework guys the next one sir what is the framework what is the framework already you know guys framework is a set of jars and var files set of jar and var files each jar and var contains a set of predefined interfaces classes and methods they are given to provide some functionality of java project guys very very important what is a framework okay i given first line working with framework is nothing but a working with jar and var means every every jar and var having a predefined interfaces classes and methods already in that interfaces classes and methods already some code is implemented and that code is nothing but a common code that code is nothing but a common code so while developing our web based application suppose you are suppose you don't want to repeat the common code at that time simply you can download the jars and uh, here you can focus on only only unique code okay simple thing jar is nothing jar and every jar and var contains predefined interfaces class and methods already already they have a some common implemented code please understand and uh, other word other words what sir in other words a framework is a abstraction layer on top of the existing technology absolutely because of in jar and var okay interface names class names method names won't visible to you okay according to our requirement just we are going to importing required interface required class and required method so slowly we are going to using in our web based application so here jars and vars are abstraction layer okay according to your requirement it can provide the interface it can provide the classes it can provide the methods but these are these all are already implemented so clearly understand the next one sir this is what framework and types of framework types of framework very very important guys actually in java we have a two types of framework two types of framework java frameworks are three types java frameworks are three types but java having a two types of framework the first one is nothing but a invasive framework invasive framework and second one is nothing but a non invasive framework please understand invasive and non invasive framework simple thing don't be confused simple thing guys invasive framework means invasive framework means so which class suppose uh, to developing web application now i am going to creating one class sir. one class look at here slowly uh, i'll go with uh, here notepad please notepad okay suppose okay i want to create a one class here i want to create one class how we are creating class public class the class name is what something called my 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 class my class this like this i created and this class using for developing web based application okay this is a it's look like a normal class guys but uh, to developing your web application if this class uh, this class okay required either extends or implements either extends extends extend means what our class compulsory depends on other packages other package classes or our class compulsory depends on other class interface other class interface means what interface implements and a class will be extends such type of framework is nothing but a invasive framework such type of framework is nothing but a invasive framework again i am repeating guys okay suppose which class you are going to creating to developing your web based application that class compulsory extends with existing package and compulsory implement with predefined interfaces predefined interfaces such type of framework is nothing but a what a invasive framework the best examples of invasive frameworks are servlets 
servlets and struts guys servlets and struts servlets and struts guys you know okay if you create a servlet class our servlet class compulsory extends and compulsory implement now i will give one example suppose i am creating servlet class public class and my class name is my servlet my servlet my servlet and we are implements with uh, implements uh, implements implements with uh, servlet interface servlet interface look at here so without implementation without implementation without extend there is no servlet class means means here my servlet is nothing but a user defined class but a servlet is a predefined class predefined interface and this interface given by one api that is what the servlet api given means i am going to using existing existing package interface so means what my class compulsory implements with other package interface that's why it is a what a invasive not only this one guys this is a implementation suppose if you create second way second approach my servlets i am going to talking about uh, here extends extends with a uh, http servlet even look at here http servlet is nothing but a class and here my pre user defined class must be extend with a uh, http servlet and this class given by which api sir servlet api means a uh, servlet class compulsory implement and compulsory extend with predefined interface and predefined class such type of framework is nothing but a what a invasive framework so simply i am reading here invasive means it will force the programmers it will force the programmer to create their classes by extending or implementing from predefined classes or interfaces provided by the framework compulsory extend compulsory implement such type of framework is nothing but a invasive framework here two example servlet technology and struts these are the what a compulsory depends on existing packages so these are the invasive framework so here i given some example i will send you these notes also you know guys here my servlet extends with a http servlet so when i am going to creating the servlet class compulsory extends and compulsory implement you know and when you prepare your class here we are using the do post method now i am going to preparing my business logic and approach number 2 here i am creating servlet class here again but this time this one implements with a servlet interface okay these are the depends on existing package so what we call invasive the coming to the point non invasive framework slowly we are coming to the main topic guys non invasive means what okay what class you are going to creating to developing web application rest api application that class won't force you compulsory implements compulsory extend with predefined packages so again i am repeating it means okay non invasive means it won't forces the programmer to extends or implements its own classes or interfaces classes are interfaces right okay this kind of frameworks are hibernate spring and spring boot so our java 3 frameworks are what type of framework sir non invasive framework non invasive framework the reason is what okay poso and a posi model means the above three frameworks designed with two classes sir poso and a posi okay here poso stands for plain old java object posi stands for plain old java interface plain old java interface so simply what i am telling you 
our our java frameworks finally java frameworks having a three first one is hibernate spring and spring boot these three frameworks completely designed with the two models pozo model and posi model pozo stands for plain old java object and posi stands for plain old java interface so that's why our three frameworks are, are non invasive framework if required you can extend and implement but compulsory it won't force you but extend and implementation guys so finally in java has a three frameworks sir that is what hibernate and the spring and the spring boot framework so finally java having a three frameworks first one is hibernate spring and a spring boot okay these are the okay our introduction about the what is the framework 